helps them shift the mood forward, but in themselves are not enough. A really country that I cannot understand because it's, you know, it's a wealthy country, Australia. But uh, Russia is definitely, um, uh, you know, we, we look for much more from Russia. Brazil, Saudi Arabia, and a country that I cannot understand because it's, you know, it's a wealthy country, Australia. Um, Australia has a fossil fuel mentality towards climate, meaning they want to continue having fossil fuel as they go green. But the world can't afford that. They don't seem to have understood that we cannot do that or we will have no world. They have uh, been doing what I know they've done in previous COPs, taking language about gender or human rights out of whatever, or um, you know, indigenous peoples, any references like that, they try to get out, and they, they show up all the time to do it. At the moment, they're pushing back, apparently, on one good thing in the cover decision, the raft cover decision, for the first time, talking about phase-out coal and um, also reduce uh, um, subsidies to fossil fuel. It should be phase-out all fossil fuel, but. Having the phase out coal was there was good, and Russia and Saudi Arabia pushing back hard. I'm going to be watching the next draft to see have they succeeded. Sometimes those trillions fade. So we have to do more in the other few years to a 500 billion package and more in. Despite some progress here, when Carbon Tracker came out yesterday with that uh, 2.4 degrees Celsius being the target, you know, my heart sank. For, for our world. And that's why I think it's so important that leaders get into crisis mode. Um, uh, some of them are not in crisis mode yet, including, I'm afraid, the, um, you know, the, the prime minister who is president of this COP. I don't think he understands the crisis mode that we need.